Every one of these cars is headed for a service station. Some will stop there today, some tomorrow, some later in the week. Then next week or the one after, they will stop at a service station again. Each time one of these cars stops, it will have gone a little more, worn a little more. Over a period of time, every car will need a motor oil change, lubrication, and replacement of tires, batteries, and accessories. Many chain stores want to sell this driver the TBA items his car needs, but he regularly drives his car into only one service place, the place that sells gasoline. At the Skelly service station, the TBA items he needs are right there, ready to be sold or installed. The businessman who gets first opportunity to sell these replacement items is the man who steps out on the driveway to inspect the car. Will the man who steps out on your driveway be trained to look for and make these sales? If he is not, he might as well not be there. Without a trained man on the driveway, you are in the selling business without a salesman. Instead of bringing you a carload of business, the customer might as well have come in with only a gasoline can. The station, its merchandise, and its employees represent an investment on the part of the operator. Fortunately, he can protect that investment. By providing them with proper training, he can put salesmen on his driveway and turn gasoline customers into sales opportunities unlimited. Have you ever thought of yourself as one of those men who can't give the kind of a sales talk it takes to sell these items? Well, let me repeat for you the actual sales talk that one of the best driveway salesmen in the United States gives. Uh, you don't have to write it down. I think you'll remember it. Wiper blades, about five and a half dollars a pair. You know how he sells them? When he finds one like this on a car, he says, these aren't doing much for you, are they? I'll be glad to put on a new pair. Or he says, look at this belt. It's going to break on you. I'll be glad to put on a new one. That's his sales talk. And he sells TBA merchandise like crazy. Are you sure that you or the men you employ can't do that? We spent weeks discussing with our most successful station operators their secrets for winning customers and selling more merchandise. We printed the results. And you know, it turns out to be a very thin booklet. And the whole secret of this book is simple. Follow its service routine, look for the needs, and ask for the sales. Now let's see this routine in action. Greeting the customer is your first opportunity to make sales. Good morning, Mr. Thomas. May I fill your tank with Skelly Ketane? Yes, please. Clean uniform, friendly greeting, and he asks for the biggest order of the most profitable gasoline he sells. Ketane will perform for this user and help make him a steady customer at the Skelly station. This man uses the sponge and chamois as sales reminders. Their purpose is to remind him, as he picks up the wiper blades to clean under them, to feel and look at those blades. If they're torn or cracked, he has a potential sale in his hands. They also remind him that seal beams and taillights burn out and need replacing. And here's another sales tool he uses, the Skelly Clean as a Whistle Vacuum. This sales tool is really an invitation for the customer to step out and look at the merchandise on display, and an opportunity for the salesman to look inside the car, to read the door jam sticker, and compare it to the mileage on the speedometer, so that he will know whether or not this car needs an oil change before he looks under the hood. He gets under the hood without asking. 
and he remembers to get the customer's permission before removing the pressure cap. The booklet tells when to do it and when it can be dangerous. And the trained driveway salesman remembers that he has sales aids for use under the hood too. The dipstick. Battery testers. The hydrometer. All of these sales aids help him to find the need and to demonstrate it to the customer. Above all, he uses the two best tools he has, his eyes and his hands. It takes only moments to look, to feel, to inspect. All it takes is a close look, one need discovered, and he has taken the big step toward turning a routine service into a profitable sales opportunity. The Skelly credit card, with its easy pay plans and no charge for handling and interest, makes it easy for him to close the sale at total prices below those of chain store charge accounts. Only one thing more to make sure of, that the customer returns. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Thomas. Please come in again. I sure will. With this booklet, making sales is made easy. Now, how does this service routine compare with what you're doing at your station right now? If the sales opportunities and profits were sitting right there on the driveway, would Skelly men ask for them? Well, let's find out. Meet John and Betty Bolton. They are standing beside a car which we rigged to be a special opportunities car. Show them the sales opportunities on this car. The door sticker shows the car has gone more than 7,000 miles without an oil change and lube job. It also needs a new oil filter. On the front are two bald tires, so worn down that the cord is showing. The seal beam headlamp is punctured and fogged over. The windshield wiper blades are both so bad they're hanging in shreds. The fan belt has dozens of cuts and nicks and is barely holding together. John and Betty drove this opportunity car into 40 real Skelly service stations. John wore a hidden microphone strapped to his arm, and Betty carried one in her purse. Their instructions were to buy anything anyone wanted to sell them. A hidden camera with telephoto lens photographed what happened at each station. None of the Skelly men knew they were being recorded. The five needs on this car, oil change, lube and filter, two white sidewall tires, a seal beam headlamp, windshield wiper blades of pair, and fan belt. These give each station an opportunity to make plus sales of $80.16. Now multiply that by 40 stations visited, and it comes to $3,206.40 worth of extra business. Now, let's see how much of it they asked for. John drives into the first station, and the skelly man comes right out. Howdy. Hi, how are you, sir? Hello, regular asshole. Pardon? Regular asshole. Oh, uh, regular, I guess. He suggests ethyl, which all of his competitors have. Only Skelly stations have Keatane. I'm going to try that uh, Keatane one of these days. Okay. Is it pretty good stuff? Yeah. Not much of a sales talk there, but as he circled the car, the operator was alert. He had noticed the bald tires in front. Looks like going to try and swap you out of some tires. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear very well. Looks like going to try and swap you out of some tires. That's something. It's about as ball-headed as I am. <laughs> What's that tire? Yeah, that one there. Oh, yeah. You got a pretty good deal on tires? Yeah. Now let's see if he is alert enough to spot the broken wiper blades. The wiper blade is bad. The what? The steer is bad here. Oh, yeah. Fine. <laughs> sure is. Later, out of camera view, the operator suggests replacing those blades and picks up $2.20 profit just by asking. 
Will he see the burned out seal beam? You got one light burned out, one sure turning thing. lights on. You want one put in there? Well, how much are they? Well, 240. Well? How long does that take? Not very long, just a few minutes. Under the hood, he misses the sales opportunities. It's still good. Okay. Because he neglected to look at the door sticker first, he has no way of knowing that the car needs an oil change. But this alert operator does turn routine service into about $58 worth of plus sales. I'll give you a price on a pair of Suburban Knights or Sure Grip. They'll be a lot less than I can sell you a pair of tires for if he's interested in anything like that. Well, yeah, that might be a, a good deal. Will we switch them then or what? Huh? Yeah. Put them in? Yeah, put these on the back and put your back wheels up here on the front. That way you have your good tread up here on the front and put your mud and snow tires back there if he was interested in anything like that. Well, that might be the best deal. Now, anything over 50, why, you got six months on anything under $50? Well, you got 30 and 60 days. There's no interest, no handling charges like that on it. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a good way to buy tires yeah. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it does. We're feeling great about Skelly service as John stops at our next station. Hmm. Time passes slowly when the customer simply waits, feeling neglected. However, the situation can be saved if the Skelly Man comes out with an alert, friendly, energetic greeting. Hi. Need some gas. Okay, regular? Uh, yes. Please. Since it would take hours to show everything that happens, we have edited the film down to typical examples of selling, and non-selling. No selling is attempted here, so John again invites a good sales talk. Is this key attain pretty good stuff? Yeah, it seems to do pretty good. Yeah. He doesn't get new wiper blades either. Well, he's got a seal beam out, see? The what? He sees the need for a seal beam. Which one? Oh, this one? Yeah. But evidently does not see it as an opportunity to ask for a sale. Check the oil. Oh, yes, if you just check the oil. Since he finds none of the sales opportunities that are under the hood, we might just as well skip ahead and close it. Okay. okay. This station spent just as much time servicing the car as the first station. The difference was in what they earned for their work. A difference of about $14 dealer profit. You can almost tell what kind of a business a station does by the attitude of the men working there. Somehow, you're not surprised that this next man does a whale of a business. How are you, sir? Hi, how are you? Fill it up for me, sir? Yes, please. Regular or Kia thing? Oh, regular, I guess. Regular do you small. Sure. All right. Well, yeah, I got a little over left. Okay. It's about run me out, though, here this morning. It's where a big snow fell. Busy day, huh? What, uh, is that Kia thing pretty good stuff? It sure is, I'll tell you. Is it? It sure is. Hi, gentlemen. I'll take you in behind this snow here, sir. Well, I was wondering about that Kia thing. I see yeah, it on really is. television. Yeah, it really is. And I with it. And the thing up this side, don't have anybody saying that they're full of bull. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'll come in and say, by God, I actually done it. I thought they were. Let's see how other skelly men greeted our drivers. Need some gas. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, regular. Oh, regular be fine. Hi. Hi. Oh, fine, thank you. Uh, need some gas. 
Yeah, yeah just like fill it with regular, be fine. Regular, regular. Sir, do you want to fill it up? Yes, please. What are you, the high test? Yeah, that'd be fine. The more often a driveway salesman asks for the fill or the maximum sale, the more often he gets it. Then why do so many leave the order entirely to the customer? Are Skelly men afraid to suggest a gasoline sale? What would happen if instead of Betty giving the order, she simply waits for the salesman to ask for it? Well, let's see. Apparently the customer better make the sale, or they'll be standing here all day. Uh, I guess I better have some gas. Okay, but, uh, Yeah, please. What happens when the customer does ask about something? Hundreds of television commercials are convincing people that they should visit Skelly stations and try Skelly Keatane. Well, let's see how Skelly men are using this interest to win new customers. Oh, that's at, uh, Keatane, huh? Keatane, yeah. I've seen that advertised. That's pretty hot that's stuff. That's the stuff that gets darn close to do. Oh. Is it really pretty good? Oh, I'll tell you what. I have. It runs about 50-50 with my customers to uh -huh. say that they can see a difference. Is and that right? Then there's about people turn out and say, well, they can't, they can't see no difference. I've been seeing that on uh, television. Is it any good? Oh, you got to have a good break when you burn that stuff. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Is that really that much better? Oh, it's a good grade of apple. Anybody really seem to like it? I don't know whether it's... Well, do you, I mean, you I don't know whether it's any better than Phillips or... Yeah. The rest of them are done. Yeah. Well, this old horse eats a lot of, a lot of gasoline. I'm just wondering whether that would help my mileage. In. I think it would be... Oh, I don't know. Which ones are winning customers, which are not? We're up. I'm kind of anxious to see how that uh, Keatane works. I haven't tried that before. Well, good stuff. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's big. Skelly's the only gasoline on the market that's got a patented additive. Mm -hmm. Even in her gasoline. Even DX Boron's not patented. Huh. But Boron's using rockets. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Not a patent Couldn't additive. Yeah. Skelly has the only patent additive in gasoline in the United States. You carry, uh... Most Skelly men are good, hard workers who earnestly try to serve the customers. The station operator pays for this time and work, but gets no return for his money when sales opportunities are ignored. These wiper blades represent a $5.50 sale. When they are ignored, they become no sale and add up to dollars lost. They remember the service, but they forget the sales purpose. They clean miles and miles of glass. They pick up the blade and hold it, but they don't see it. The paper towel catches on it. Still, nobody really looks at it. The torn rubber is left hanging in the breeze. This man comments on the window streaks, but doesn't suggest replacing the blades. Will anyone? Yes. He finds it. Oh, yeah. He finds it, but he does not ask for the sale. That's your last plate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Pardon? But unfortunately, he does not have it in stock, and you can't sell what you don't have. I don't have one that... I don't have one of those. Oh, don't you? Scratch the windshield. Finally. Oh, boy. Yeah, that is bad. Do you carry it? 
Yeah, I think I got some. Well, with a little push from the customer, a sale is made. Yeah, I suppose I'd better put some on then. Out of all that glass cleaning, how many stations out of 40 bothered to make a profit? Only two. The broken seal beam headlamp was obvious, but 34 skelly men ignored it. Many polished it, but only six offered to replace it. You got a bad headlight, dude. Yeah, sure is. Lock out new one put in. Pardon? Lock out new one put in. You got a seal beam running out here. Say what? Seal beams out. That low beam on the other side. Oh yeah, it sure is. Change that real quick, boy. The two front tires on this car were so worn that one actually blew out before this filming was completed. But in 40 stops. The drivers found only five station operators who looked for a tire sale. No helpers looked at all. Josh, it's sure showing the cord. What's wrong with that tire? Why? What's the matter? Oh, you had it on. Not surprisingly, those who made the most sales also seem to know most about the advantages of the Skelly credit card. Stanton, excise tax, sales tax, and whole business. That's full price. You got a Skelly credit card? Yes, I do. Put it on six months terms, no interest, no carrying charge, and no down payment. Well? Six, let's see. Cost you about eight bucks a month for six months. Well, that wouldn't be bad. I'm, I'm going to need it. Well, I got them. That's we may think that many of us ignore TBA sales because we are basically in the gasoline and oil business. Well, if that's the case, let's see what a bang-up job we do on selling oil. Sorry, what? Would you like for us to back in your car for you? Oh, all right, fine, if you would. Thank you. This man offers to vacuum. Now, the sales purpose of the Skelly vacuum is to give him the opportunity to look at the door sticker before he checks under the hood. But he opens the hood first. So when he checks the oil, he does not know that the car needs an oil change. Later, he vacuums, performing a service that the customer will appreciate, but missing the sales opportunity. But give him credit. He is the only man who even got near the door sticker. This car offers 40 stations oil, lube, and filter profits, totaling $186. So every time someone checks the dipstick without having checked the door sticker, he is ignoring $4.65 in dealer profits. Watch it go down the drain. The dipstick is fine for telling the oil level, but it doesn't tell the oil mileage. It's all right. But it isn't all right. Okay. Yeah. No, it isn't okay. There are more than 7,000 miles on that oil. There are millions of older cars still on 1,000 mile change intervals. The oil in this car has been used far beyond the recommendations of any manufacturer. Yet no one asks how long it's been. No one suggests a change. Next time someone makes the excuse that the longer change intervals are reducing oil sales, consider the fact that a car needing an oil change can drive in for Skelly service 40 times without finding one man who will look for the sales opportunity. Out of $186 in profits, the total asked for? Zero. The item that Skelly men did best at finding was the worn fan belt. Fan belt going on the hill, huh? Oh boy. Yeah. Can't make three shit. Hard to get a fan belt in two there. Oh boy. Well? Look at the two several places. Yeah, that looks pretty beat, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gone. Is it? Uh, look here. Big crack right in there. Oh, you see yeah. that? Yeah. Well. Huh. 
put a new one. We got gates, but I can put one in on. What? You just about got a fan belt and paint. I have. You see that? Is that bad? Broke almost in there. It ain't gonna last very long. Once again, we huh. encounter the salesman who sees the need. the sale and the man who doesn't have it in stock oh you don't have them in no. stock right now what is Skelly service really like from the customers viewpoint well at times for a man it can be a lonely experience while a pretty girl may just about empty the shop If you happen to stop in during the World Series, the man with the radio plugged in his ear may tune you out entirely. Around gasoline fumes, you can hope the pipe isn't lighted. Or face the explosive possibilities of a cigarette that is. Appropriately enough, this was the 13th station visited. The air cleaner? Yeah. Sometimes you get the exceptional Skelly services, such as having the dirt cleaned from your air filter. Or you get the facts about antifreeze protection. Yes, yes. No, not lately. Okay, if you wouldn't mind, sure. In case you, if we fill your, you know, give you, you buy your antifreeze from us, you get a card from your radiator. And if you break a hose or any way it boils out or anything, we replace it for nothing, but we charge three twenty-five a gallon. Oh, I see. And if it, you, in any case of a hose breaking or, uh, or it boils out or some cause like that, well, we replace it for nothing. When the customer is ready to depart, a few Skelly men do remember to encourage him to return. We do want to thank you for stopping. Thank Come you. Back. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Sorry, Dad. All right. Oh, Thanks very much. We'll come back. We sure will. Those skelly men who earn the confidence of the customer and make the sales prove that it can be done. The same opportunities were there for all, but too often, when the transaction was ended, the car still had most of the needs it had when it arrived. With more than $80 in extra sales waiting to be asked for, the majority of driveway salesmen at skelly service stations settled for the minimum. That'll be a dollar thirty-five. Many of the men in service stations you have just seen are among the best in the country. They were good sports and let us use the film even when we caught them not at their best. But the important thing is that all of us learn from our past mistakes. Now those 40 service stations could have had a total of three thousand two hundred and six dollars and forty cents in extra sales. How much of it did they ask for? Altogether, $369.74. The opportunities were more than eight times the actual sales. Interestingly, a similar study made last year came out exactly the same. Now, it's a fact. The present traffic at the average station is good for eight times more profit than the station is getting. It doesn't come into your station all on one car as it did here. It may be one car that needs a tire, another that's due for an oil change. You may find these needs on five different cars out of 40 that you may service. But the profit from these sales add up to the same thing at the end of the day. $80.16 in extra sales gives the operator an average profit of $24.75. But just that much improvement each day will mean more than $750 additional profit at the end of the month or about $9,000 additional profit for the year. The procedure in this booklet will help you get those additional sales. If you're a driveway salesman, this service routine will make you a more valuable employee. If you're an operator paying men money to serve your customers, doesn't it make sense to show them how to do it in a way that will produce this kind of a profit? Your men won't do it unless you set the example. Unless you do it, 
and show them that you expect them to do it. Well, these booklets are free to you, as many as you need for yourself and your employees. When cars need these things, somebody is going to sell them. When you do it, your opportunities are unlimited. <laughs>